Chapter 91 I can give you what you want you are listening at novelfull.audio. Translator Vesper Ning Meng Yao's two eyes lit up at the sight of the walnuts which were around 3.4 jeans worth, jean equals a one-half kilo. I want all of them. Here's the money. Ning Meng Yao gave 31, which was too high an amount in the eyes of the seller. Miss, this isn't worth that much money. Ning Meng Yao waved her hand and replied, if I say it's worth that much then it's worth that much. Xiao Tian Chang automatically took the bag of walnuts and started carrying it while also holding on to Ning Meng Yao's hand. The corner of his mouth curved slightly. After leaving the stall, Ning Meng Yao eagerly looked at the hand Xiao Tian Chang held the bag in. Walnuts were her favorite thing to eat. She had been here for so long yet she'd forgotten to ask someone to go and find some, so when she suddenly saw them she really wanted to have some. Xiao Tian Chang had no choice but to let go of Ning Meng Yao's hand and take out some walnuts from the bag. He took two and put them in his palm before crushing them together. Usually, one would have to use a rock to crush the walnut open, but the cracking sound could be heard in Xiao Tian Chang's hand. Upon looking again, both walnuts were cracked and the kernels sat in Xiao Tian Chang's palm. Taking the kernels, he placed them into her hand. Seeing how Ning Meng Yao couldn't get enough of them, he took her hand again and went into a nearby tea house. He ordered some tea and deserts as he continued to crack and shell of the walnuts for her. Ning Meng Yao narrowed her eyes as she looked at him. Suddenly, she felt that it wasn't such a bad thing to tag along with Xiao Tian Chang. At the least, when it came to eating the walnuts, she didn't have to break them herself. Do you want to eat some more? No, let's leave some to eat on the way back. Okay, Brother Chiao, you said that you like me, right? She had thought about it a lot during this time and felt like there were some things she had to communicate clearly with him about. Xiao Tang Chang was taken aback, before nodding his head and replying, Yes, be no elder M, I don't ask for much, just not to be betrayed. Ning Meng Yao looked Xiao Tian Chang directly in the eye as she spelled it out for him. N for two people to spend their life together. T slash N, meaning only two people, no concubines or mistresses. Xiao Tian Chang looked at Ning Meng Yao. Right before she was about to give up in disappointment, Xiao Tian Chang suddenly laughed, What you want, I can give it to you. Also, I have mysophobia. He had seen countless men who had multiple wives and concubines and saw enough of their dirty fights and conflicts. He was not remotely interested in having multiple wives and concubines. What's more, men only wanted multiple wives and concubines to satisfy their own lustful desires. If one really liked someone and fell in love with them, how could they then go and marry several other people and thereby ending up making the one they truly love dejected? I can't say flowery words, but I can say this, other men might enjoy taking multiple wives and concubines, but I don't. I'm even disgusted by it. That was the type of environment that I was born in. While facing Ning Meng Yao, he didn't have much to say. Right now he really wanted to stay, he was willing to give up everything he had before and just wanted to live the simple life in a remote village. Ning Meng Yao looked at Xiao Tian Chang incredulously. Was he his family's young master? Or was he just the son of a concubine? Before meeting my father, my mother was engaged to her childhood sweetheart. But because of my father's selfishness, two families were destroyed, and my mother was ruined as well. My mom passed away when I was five years old and I was considered to be an eyesore and thorn in the side of everyone in the family. If it hadn't been for the good relationship he had with Xiao Qi Tian and the others since they were young, which made his family members hesitate to openly attack him, he probably wouldn't have survived to this day. After hearing this, Ning Meng Yao's heart felt a pang of sadness. No wonder he was so cold and detached, seemingly indifferent to everything. I understand. What do you mean by, I understand? Dot. Seeing her feigned calmness, Xiao Tian Chang teased her a bit. Ning Meng Yao looked fiercely at Xiao Tian Chang before lowering her head and not responding. 
After the new year, let's get engaged. Xiao Tian Chang suddenly said. Those words shocked Ning Mengyao to her core. What did you say? Become engaged. Why the rush? Ning Mengyao's jaw dropped. Didn't they just reach an understanding? How did they suddenly jump into talking about becoming engaged? Why in such a hurry? Xiao Tian Chang didn't say anything but only looked at Ning Mengyao with a fond smile. She was so outstanding that he wanted to think of a way to keep her by his side. Otherwise, if in the future someone came and stole her away from him, even if he wanted to cry about it he wouldn't be able to. Under Ning Meng Yao's glare, Xiao Tian Chang finally said, It's just an engagement. Chapter 92 Sorely provoked you are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator Vesper Ning Meng Yao tilted her head as she pondered for a moment. It didn't look like she would be getting herself into a fix or come off for the worse by agreeing. And it wasn't like he was saying he wanted to get married right away. In that case, it should be all right. Okay. Satisfied with her response, Chao Tian Chang dropped the question and changed the topic of conversation to how he had been living all this while as well as the plan he had together with Ning Meng Yao in the future. For example, his decision to not go back and instead settle down permanently at White Mountain Village. Also, in the next year, he intended to build a house next to her home so that it would be possible to merge the two houses together in the future. It was until late at night when the two finally left the tea house after the people on the floor below gradually dispersed. Binov Kam Chao Tian Chang did not follow Ning Meng Yao back but instead went to an inn to rest right after telling her that he'd travel back with her group the following morning. By the time Ning Meng Yao returned, Yang Lulu was already back. Yang Lulu was not worried about Ning Meng Yao arriving back so late in the night and only grinned at her. You're back late. Looking at Ning Meng Yao, she smiled widely. It was time to go beyond payback. You're sure one to talk, you guys actually deserted me. Ning Meng Yao replied as she feigned an angry look and narrowed her eyes at Yang Lulu. Yang Lulu grinned as she awkwardly rubbed her nose, don't be angry, I was wrong. Ning Meng Yao glanced at Yang Lulu, I don't have time to be upset with you, I'm tired, so I'm going to go wash up and then go to sleep. I'll go as well. Yang Lulu followed along and returned to her own room. As expected, Xiao Tian Chang came over first thing in the morning. Qing Xian opened the door for Xiao Tian Chang and kept a watchful eye on him. Ning Meng Yao was a bit embarrassed when she saw that he had come over. Big brother Xiao, you came. And, let's return back together in a bit. Okay. Yang Lulu first looked at Ning Meng Yao, and then at Xiao Tian Yang. With that same look of understanding in both their eyes, Yan Lulu could tell that something had definitely happened between the two of them. Looking at Ning Meng Tao, her eyes seemed to say. You better, fess up. Ning Meng Yao lowered her head and pretended not to see Yan Lu Li's inquisitive gaze. Instead, she started talking with Xiao Tian Chang about the workshop. After being ignored and left out for a while, An Lulu finally had had enough and said accusingly to the two people in front of her, Hey, you two, don't forget I'm right here, alive and well. Ning Meng Yao and Xiao Tian Chang smiled at each other. Ning Meng Yao was the first to break the gaze and replied to Yang Lulu, All right, eat up. We'll head back once we've finished eating. Got it. Yang Lulu dropped the subject as she lowered her head and obediently started eating. After the meal, everyone packed up and got ready to leave. As they were leaving, they encountered Yang Chui. Yang Chui's face was pale, it was obvious that she hadn't been doing very well these days. When Yang Chui noticed them, her line of vision immediately fell on Xiao Tian Chang and the words of warning that her brother and sister in law told her came to mind. It wasn't that Yang Chui didn't understand the words they told her, it's just that she wasn't willing to take them to heart. She had been acquainted with Xiao Tian Chang for a while, and the time she knew him was not shorter than Ning Meng Yao. 
So why was it that Xiao Tian Chang would not take notice of her and instead only paid attention to that SL asterisk T? No matter the why and how, she couldn't bear it. It's just that she couldn't do anything about it right now. If she were to stir up trouble in the town, not only would her older brother and his wife not let her get away with it, but her second brother wouldn't spare her either. She didn't want her family to be disgusted with her at this time, but as she watched those two walking together side by side, how could it not pain her to look at? With a blurred vision, Yang Chui watched Xiao Tian Chang leave together with Ning Menyao. Finally, Yang Chui turned around and left too. Yang Chui had to endure for now, but one day, she would definitely make Ning Menyao kneel before her and beg for mercy. When Yang Chui returned to her older brother's shop, her countenance was unpleasant. Yang Xu looked at his sister and frowned slightly, what happened? Didn't you say you were going out for a bit? It's nothing. Yang Xu thought to himself. Although you may look like nothing's wrong on the surface, I can tell something's weighing in your heart. You say you're fine, yet what were you doing crying and wailing all morning? Hey, we still had a business to run. With this going on, what will happen when all the customers get scared away? Older brother, I'm going to go take a rest first. Without looking at her brother's expression, she knew what he was thinking so she lowered her head and headed towards the back. After Yang Chui left, Madam Sun came out from the back frowning and looking displeased as she said, it's not good for sister-in-law to be like this. Chapter 93 Of a different mind you are listening at novel full.audio Translator Vesper Yang Shu looked at his wife as she nodded her head. He knew the situation wasn't good, but nothing had happened yet. If any of the town officials ended up getting offended, they would be the ones to be saddled with the blame. Chui or look over there. Yang Shu said after thinking for a bit. Open for many years, many shops in town had become more sophisticated. The environment was nice when Yang Chui first arrived, so why would they send her back? It was all because she had provoked those whom she shouldn't have, resulting in them having to spend their hard-earned finances that should have been saved. She had been fine while she was in town, but who knew she would undergo such unsettling changes the moment they returned to White Mountain Village, going as far as to repeatedly climb over the walls and entering the house of a man a and as an unmarried woman no less. Even if she was already married, for her to do something like that would only bring shame. When she did those things, never once did she consider her and her feelings, or even her second brothers. Second dot brother had been studying for many years, and his reputation at the academy was not bad. If he were to become entangled into some trouble because of Yang Chui, then all his effort would definitely be in vain. Don't worry about it, I know what to do. Madam Sun nodded her head, indicating she understood. To be honest with herself, she did not think much of her sister. In. Law. Her sister. In. Law had no skills, yet she thinks that the whole world revolves around her. Having seen the lady called Ning Menyao, one look and Madam Sun could tell that Yang Chui and many other girls cannot be compared to her. Ning Menyao had the appearance, temperament, and qualities that a cultured person should have, on top of that she was a learned person. What qualities did the brainless Yang Chui rely on that she went ahead to quarrel with Ning Menyao? Thinking about the things Yang Chui had done, Madam Sun really felt that she was shameless. And, I've confidence in whatever you do. Yang Xu nodded his head directly in agreement. Madam Sun smiled and nodded. Since their marriage, the two of them had a good relationship. Other than not having a child yet, there wasn't any other issue. After the Lantern Festival, Ning Mengyao hadn't started on any projects yet. She first went to Yang Luli's house to discuss her plan with Yang Zhu and Madam Yang. At first, Madam Yang was somewhat unwilling, but in the end, after listening to Yang Zhu's explanation, she reluctantly agreed. How could you agree to this? Lulu is still unmarried, how can she wander out to the public recklessly? Yang Zhu looked displeasingly at Madam Yang, do you think that Miss Meng Yao will swindle Lulu? Madam Yang thought it over. With the good relationship between the two of them, it didn't seem possible. 
it really was impossible to say that Ning Meng Yao would want to swindle Lulu. It's not possible, right? That means that Meng Yao sincerely wants to help Lulu. Right now Lu Li's not too old, going out and make her way in the world for two years is also good. Look on it as a time to gain experience. Yang Zhu didn't overthink the situation. It was just that his daughter had always stayed at home in their village and had never been out to see the world. When he was listening to Ning Mengyao talk, all he thought about was that if his daughter could go out and see more of the world then it would be really great. He never thought about using Ning Mengyao to give his daughter better prospects in her future, that wouldn't be useful to them at all. You aren't worried at all. Of course I'm worried. How could I not be worried? However, with Miss Meng Yao looking after her, I can set my worries to rest. Yang Zhu mumbled softly. Ning Meng Yao was not a simple person. If they were to follow alongside her, it was possible for their family to become White Mountain Village's third richest family after Ning Meng Yao and Xiao Tiang Yang. Mom, I think Dad has a point. Yang Yi and Madam Xiao had been standing at the side listening to the conversation. When they saw that Madam Yang still looked unsure about it, he immediately spoke up. Madam Yang looked at her son. How could her son also think this way? Mom, first let me finish speaking. Sister is skilled in embroidery, Meng Yao was also clear about her skill. Regarding the situation of going to the embroidery house, how many people do you think have the opportunity and can go and do embroidery under the head of the embroidery house? Madam Yang had only noticed Yang Lu Li's desire to leave home and hadn't considered this point. True mom, Meng Yao has said that sister is very talented in this area and that her embroidery is unique. Right now if sister would be to go now, in the future when she returned she would have learned a lot and would have also become a family heirloom artisan. Madam Chiao comforted. If her skills in this area hadn't been mediocre, she would have been bold enough to disregard her pride and also beg Ning Meng Yao for her help as well. Previously she had heard her sister dot in dot law say that the cheapest price one of Ning Meng Yao's embroidery screens had gone for was 100 liang, and that hadn't even been her best work as it was only a simple embroidery screen. She had heard that Ning Meng Yao had already sold four embroidery screens, and that recently one of them had been sold for a high price of 300 liang. Chapter 94 To pass a test you are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator Vesper the amount earned was 300 liang and not 3 liang, and it had only taken Ning Meng Yao half a month to embroider one screen. Just think how much profit could be made through this craft. Her sister dot in dot law was also pretty amazing. Before the new year, her six sets of pillow covers had been sold for around 50.60 liang. Before, they had never dared dream about getting that amount of money. A 50.60 liang was already enough to cover their living expenses for 10 years. A Madam Yang listened to what her son and daughter dot in dot law said and thought about it. She thought there was some merit to what they said. Suddenly she laughed embarrassedly, I know you're right, it's just that Lulu has never left home before so I'm a little worried. You're just a worrywart. Yang Zhu glanced at Madam Yang before getting up to leave. Once Yang Lulu had gotten her family's approval, she left with Qing Zhu and Ning Mengyao. The three secretly arrived in Luocheng, less than 300 miles from the capital city. They came to the courtyard of an ordinary-looking house. Surprisingly, it was a large embroidery yard with several embroidery ladies at work and the quality of their work was all excellent. Yang Lula stopped beside of the ladies embroidering and watched them closely without disturbing them. She realized that their needlepoint style was very familiar. She raised her head and glanced at Ning Meng Yao, and a thought flashed through her mind. It looks like they were all taught by Ning Meng Yao. A Ning Meng Yao and her servant waited at a side as they watched Yang Lulu. After she returned to their side, the three of them left together. Upon entering the study, Qing Zhu turned and looked seriously at Yang Lulu, although you are said to be friends with the young miss, there are still procedures that must be followed. I understand. Yang Lulu nodded her head. Since Yao Yao was willing to help her, 
how could she hold Yao Yao back? Qing Zhu took out a piece of ordinary white cloth and gave it to her together with some silk threads. These are for you. In three days' time, I want you to create your own piece of embroidery and show it to me. Three days. Yang Lulu was dumbfounded. She was afraid that she wouldn't be able to complete it in three days. Any size is fine. Qing Zhu said coldly. Yang Lulu grit her teeth and replied, All right. Qing Zhu nodded her head in satisfaction and then took Yang Lulu to arrange a room for her. After the two of them left, Ning Mengyao picked up the account book that was on the table. As she looked at it, her expression went from solemn to chilly. A. A. Mixed within the middle of the account book was something else, it was a piece of information from the capital. It turned out that before she left, Ling Luo hadn't given up looking for her. However, less than two months after she left, Ling Luo married the Princess Xiao Zifu from the Xiao royal family. This news made Ning Meng Yao furrow her brow. She then walked over to the candlestick and put the piece of information into the fire. As she watched it slowly burn, her eyes were filled with a deep look of derision. Even with a beautiful lady by your side, you still want to find me. Ling Luo, who do you think you are? What kind of person do you take me for? During the three days, Ning Meng Yao took care of a lot of business affairs. Qing Zhu also brought up different issues regarding the embroidery house. In the blink of an eye, three days had come to an end. On the fourth day in the morning, Yan Lulu, with her face filled with fatigue, headed towards the study. Ning Meng Yao took a look at her face and was a little worried. But looking again, she saw that though she was exhausted, her eyes were sparkling, and that relieved Ning Meng Yao's heart quite a bit. Yang Lulu handed over a piece of embroidered pillowcase. A. A. Qing Zhu took the piece and examined it carefully. It was of a scenery full of trees, flowers, and birds. Although it was an ordinary piece of embroidery, the colors and the positioning used were all complementary. Yang Lulu had taken a simple item and completely took it to a new level. Not only that, her needlepoint workmanship wasn't bad either. A. Mississippi, Ning Meng Yao took the piece and examined it as well. A perfect job would be rated 100 points, this piece of embroidery could be rated around 70 points. This was already the highest rating that these two had ever given to a new arrival. Yang Lulu looked at the two of them with apprehension. Yao Yao, is it no good? Seeing the serious expression on the two faces, she really worried that her work wasn't good enough. Ning Meng Yao looked at Yang Lulu who was sweating nervously and did not toy with her. It's good. Although there are some parts that are a bit rudimentary, it's still quite good overall. For real. Does that mean I passed? Yang Lulu looked at them with great eagerness, like a dog making puppy eyes at its owner. Ning Meng Yao and Qing Zhu glanced at each other, both had smiles in their eyes. A. Finally, upon seeing that Yang Lulu was truly worried, Qing Zhu looked at her with a serious expression and answered, You pass. Chapter 95 Where is Yang Lulu? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper When the uneasy Yang Lulu heard the words Qing Zhu spoke, she leaped and stretched her hands tightly around Ming Meng Yao's neck. Yao Yao, did you hear that? I passed. I passed. Ning Meng Yao's neck felt a bit uncomfortable being wrung, and she couldn't help but frown. She reached for her neck and pulled down the hands that were around it. Calm down, don't get so excited. I almost got strangled to death by you, at once, the hands that were around Ning Meng Yao dropped. Yang Lulu contritely rubbed her nose and said very apologetically, Yao Yao, I'm sorry. I was just too excited. It's okay. Qing Zhu, please make the arrangements for Lulu. She naturally understood Yang Luli's feelings so she didn't blame her. In a month, you'll work for 20 days and have 10 days of rest. Qing Zhu pondered over it for a while before responding. This form of arrangement, Yang Lulu felt was just too good of a bargain. Qing Zhu, 
Thank you. You're welcome. Starting from tomorrow, you'll be staying here and 20 days later there'll be someone who will send you back. However, there is something we must be clear on. Everything that you see and hear here must not be told to a single soul, not even your parents. While saying these words, Qing Zhu came across not as Ning Meng Yao's aide but as the manager. Yang Lulu nodded her head in agreement without any hesitation, no problem. A, okay then, I'll find someone to take you to the embroidery room. She said before leaving. A, I'll tell Yang Xu and her family that there will be a decent amount of earnings every 20 days. Don't worry. I trust you. She will follow them along. The reason why she wanted to be here was not only because Ning Mengyao brought her out of her village, but more importantly, because she wanted to see what else was out there in the world. And even though she currently was still in the embroidery house, when she came to this place she could tell that Ning Mengyao wasn't just any ordinary person and by following her, she'd be able to reach for the things she wants. So she wasn't in any rush. After organizing everything for Yang Lulu, Ning Mengyao and Qin Zhu left the embroidery house and returned back to White Mountain Village. After seeing her daughter leave with them but not return with them, Madame Yang and family grew a little worried. Yao Er, Lulu Shi. Aunt Yang, Lulu will only be gone 20 days of every month and for the remaining 10 days will return here. Ning Mengyao naturally knew the things that Madame Yang wanted to ask so she directly answered her questions. A. Only spending 20 days of the month outside. This type of arrangement was easier to accept for the young family. Then we can put our minds to rest. Although they won't be able to see each other every day, this arrangement wasn't bad. After all, if they were to haggle over the work situation too much, it would appear that they weren't sensible people. A young Luli's matter passed just like this. It was not known from where Yang Xiu Er heard that Yang Lulu had been sent by Ning Mengyao outside to learn embroidery from. But the news caused her face to twist up with jealousy. A Ning Mengyao was really too great. She was so nice to Yang Lulu, yet she drove her away like some kind of beggar. As she tightly clasped her hands together, Yang Xiu Er's eyes filled with a vicious light. Madame Luo became frightened and a little worried when she saw her daughter act this way and asked, Xiu Er, what's wrong with you? A, mother, Ning Meng Yao that the asterisk TCH sent Yang Lulu outside. For all of Yang Xiu Er's life, she had never been to any other place except the local town. Previously, would have cared less about this, because no one else from the village had gone out. But she was now bothered because Yang Lulu had left unexpectedly, What's more, she heard that she went to a big city. A continuously filled with jealousy, she couldn't calm herself. No matter what, she definitely was going to find out from Ning Mengyao what was going on. After that, Yang Xiu Er continuously went and tried to block Ning Mengyao. It was just now there were a lot of people at her house so it wouldn't be possible to do it at her home. Most importantly, Chao Tian Chang was building a house, right next door to hers. If she ended up doing anything, Xiao Tian Chang wouldn't help her out. And finally, after Yang Lulu had been gone for half a month, she finally found a chance. It was when she passed by Yang Luli's family house on her way back home that she confronted that person at the foot of the mountain. Seeing the person in front of her whom she hadn't met for a while, Ning Meng Yao's eyes filled with puzzlement and doubt, can I help you? A young Xiu Er suppressed the raging anger in her heart and looked at Ning Meng Yao and coldly demanded, Where is Yang Lulu? Chapter 96 I also want to go you are listening at novelfull.audio. Translator Vesper Ning Meng Yao unexpectedly looked at Yang Xiu Er, Is there something you need her for? If so then after seven days you can go to her house and find her then. After she spoke, she staggered and tried to go around Yang Xiu Er to leave. As soon as she had taken two steps, she was grabbed by Yang Xiu Er. Did I say you can leave? Yang Xiu Er said superciliously, her tone of voice tinted with superiority. Ning Meng Yao jerked her hand and broke free from Yang Xiu Er's grasp as she sneered in her heart. Putting on an air of superiority in front of me, 
just who gave her such status? Speak, what are you really after? Ning Meng Yao directly asked her. She had no time to waste by pretending to be polite to her. A young Xiu heir took a deep breath and looked at Ning Meng Yao, I only want to know if you had sent Yang Lulu out or not. Ning Meng Yao didn't speak and only looked at Yang Xiu heir. Finally, she saw the jealousy and anger in her eyes and understood. Wherever her news was from, she felt that the good things she should have were all given to Yang Lulu which made her came looking for trouble. Speak. Looking coldly at Yang Xiu Air, Ning Meng Yao turned. Using that type of imperious tone of voice to talk with her, did Yang Xiu Air think she was a blockhead? Seeing Ning Meng Yao about to leave, there was no way Yang Xiu Air would just let her. She quickly went and stood in front of Ning Meng Yao, blocking her way. Don't even think about leaving today if you're not going to tell me clearly. Yang Xiu Air furiously said as she glared fiercely at Ning Meng Yao. Ning Meng Yao silently gazed at Yang Xiu Air. After a long while, she finally spoke, so what if I don't wish to talk? If she didn't want to talk, would Yang Xiu Air be able to pry the words out of her mouth? Seeing her make this much trouble, what exactly did she want? A she was feeling impatient with Yang Xiu Air, especially upon seeing her eyes filled with greed. Ednell.co, I just want to know if Yang Lulu was really sent outside by you to a large embroidery house like people said she was. Seeing Ning Meng Yao's eyes become impatient, Yang Xiu Air explained her intentions clearly. Ning Meng Yao understood. Crossing her arms firmly, she smiled faintly at Yang Xiu Air, if I did, so what? And if I didn't, what about it? Yang Xiu Air opened her mouth a couple of times, and viciously spouted out, I also want to go. Amused, Ning Meng Yao laughed loudly. You're telling me you want to go as well? On what basis? Yang Xiu Air's expression became stiff, then she said haughtily, based on my ability. Besides, my needlepoint is not inferior to Yang Luli's. Ning Meng Yao looked at Yang Xiu Air with derision, you're telling me that your needlepoint is not inferior to Yang Luli's. Only you can value such spiritless handiwork. What's spiritless? I only know that I'm not inferior to Yang Lulu and you should also send me to the same place as her. Yang Xiu Air said self. Importantly, when she sold her items at the embroidery village, they gave her a high price. She refused to believe that she was inferior to that girl Yang Lulu. Looking at Yang Xiu Air, Ning Meng Yao laughed disdainfully. Exactly where did this woman's self. Confidence come from? Why does she feel like she is obligated to agree? Ning Meng Yao's laughter made Yang Xiu Air a bit angry with embarrassment, do you agree or not? Turning serious, Ning Meng Yao looked at Yang Xiu Air and said coldly, I don't agree. There, they don't receive defective products like yours. If you go, you'll only tarnish their reputation. AE.C. Dot a a superscript one c pound a e a a one fourth dot a dot i one fourth dot a degree plus or minus e cent a with diuresis dot a dot i one fourth dot c degree a dot c dot c dot e cent a with diuresis a e dot a e dot a e a i one fourth dot dot a copyright a n superscript one a e dot a superscript one dot a point one half a dot c dot a e degree dot i one fourth dot a e dot a superscript one dot a point one half a dot a e dot unspecified currency a e dot i one fourth from the time young show air first started learning embroidery she had been held in high esteem now to be suddenly told she work was defective how could that not make her angry make her furious Ning Meng Yao, you are too much. Yang Xiu Er grind her teeth and said. Ning Meng Yao looked at Yang Xiu Er coldly and said, Let's not talk about how your work isn't as good as Lo Li's, even if it were I, I wouldn't let you go there. Why not? Because of your character as a person. She could disregard everything else except that. If Yang Xiu Er were to go with such a problematic character, there would surely be trouble in the future. Yang Xiu Air felt that by coming to look for Ning Meng Yao today, she was just asking to be insulted. Looking fiercely at Ning Meng Yao, 
Yang Xiu Er heatedly spoke, Ning Meng Yao, are you really going to do this to me? Do what to you? I don't know what wrong I've done to you. How could I be at the wrong when I refuse you based on your skill level? Since Yang Xiu Er already didn't give her face, she naturally didn't have to give her any as well, especially to this type of person. Chapter 97 Yang Lo Lu is sold off by her you are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator Vesper Yang Xiu Er was furious until she laughed. As she stared at Ning Meng Yao, she said with a voice laden with ruthlessness. I will let you know the outcome of rejecting me. Finished, she turned and left. Since Ning Meng Yao had not looked favorably on her, then why should she continue staying? Was that not seeking for one's humiliation? Seeing Yang Xiu Er's leaving back, Ning Meng Yao also turned to leave. Toward people who thought the world revolved around them, she could not bring herself to like. Once she arrived at the entrance of the house, Ning Meng Yao saw Xiao Tian Chang standing there waiting for her. Her heart which was disrupted by Yang Xiu Er became better instantly. How is it? You can rest assured about it. I have dug up the grape seedlings back with the help of others, only waiting for you to give instructions on planting them. At the time Ning Meng Yao told him to plant grapes, he had invited people to the mountain and planted grape seeds in all the possible places he knew. He hired people to go with him, fifty when a day. It was not the time for harvest, so people who knew a bit of martial arts were willing to go with him, since if they missed this opportunity, the village won't have any store. In the span of five days, Ning Meng Yao's courtyard laid stacks of grape seedlings. After that, she found people to help her dig holes in the dry land to plant the seeds in. At the same time, she also planted other kinds of trees such as peach, apricot, eucalyptus, and others. Even after five to six days, not all of these trees were successfully planted. Dot though at this time, the villagers suddenly pointed their fingers at Ning Meng Yao. Yao Er, I also don't know who spread the rumor of you selling Lulu off outside, never to come back. When Madame Yang came to Ning Meng Yao's place, her face was white and angered. How could there be such a shameless person? She had even received her daughter's letter before. In the letter, it was written that she was well and would come back at the end of the month. Who knew that things would be rumored like this? If she knew who spread such rumor, she would shred those broken mouths of those gossipers. Aunt Yang, I'm not even angry, why should you be angry? Ning Meng Yao stared at Madame Yang and smiled. Madame Yang saw that she could smile even at times like this and did not know whether to laugh or cry. Things are already like this, how can you still smile? If I'm not smiling, then should I be crying? The truth will reveal itself. Lulu would come back in around two more days. When the time comes, those people would naturally shut up. Ning Meng Yao spoke to Madame Yang while she did something else. Madame Yang thought it over and it was indeed true, so she nodded and did not say anything else. The villagers saw that once the village head and his family heard these words, although they were angry, they did not find trouble for Ning Meng Yao, which felt weird. No little amount of people doubt the rumors circulating. Just like this, the atmosphere in the village became weird, up until two days later. A well-built carriage arrived in the village. The women chattering in front of the gates looked at it in curiosity, especially seeing that the carriage stopped in front of the house of the village head. Right after, they saw a maiden coming down from the carriage. Who could it be if not Yang Lulu? After coming down from the carriage, she also brought down not little things. There were big one and small ones, fishes and meats, clothes, and many other things. Seeing these things, the discussion in the village became even fiercer. They thought that Yang Lulu was sold to a rich family as a concubine by Ning Meng Yao. If not, how could she bring back so many things? You must know that those things were worth at least seven to eight silvers. Lulu, ah. Where did you go these past few days? I heard that you were sold to a rich family. There was someone who could not rein it in anymore and asked in front of the gate of Yang Zhu's house. 
Yang Lulu swept her gaze to the person speaking and faintly spoke. Auntie, I'm not happy to hear these words. What do you mean by saying that I was sold to a rich family? I just went to the embroidering pavilion to become an official embroider, how come it changed to being sold to a rich family? In just twenty short days, Yang Lula changed, as if they were not at the same level of people. The person who came to ask heard Yang Luli's answer and awkwardly walked away. Chapter 98 To not hold water you are listening at novel full dot audio. Translator Vesper Yang Lulu looked at the group of women that had gathered and sneered in her heart. It was exactly these type of people that are always looking to make trouble for others. Asking these types of questions, aren't they just finding fault in Yao Yao? During these twenty days, she had learned a lot of things. While there, she didn't only learn embroidery, every embroiderer would study daily how to draw and how to read, her days there were very fulfilling. And when Madame Yang saw that her daughter had returned, her eyes filled with happiness, Lulu, you're back. She stretched out her hand and took the things that Yang Lulu had bought home as she cheerfully welcomed her back. A after they returned home, Madame Yang finally could not hold back any longer and asked, Lulu, are you really all right there? A Yang Lulu nodded her head, N, mother. When I was there, I only worked for three hours at the embroidery house. The rest of the time was spent learning to read, draw, and doing some other stuff. For real. Madame Yang was astounded. She thought that when her daughter was working outside, she must have had a tough time and must be very tired. A who knew that she unexpectedly only had to work a couple hours every day, moreover, she was also able to draw and read. Madame Yang knew that only ladies from rich and privileged families were able to learn those things. Yes, combined with the characters I learned from Yao Yao, now I can already read a lot of characters. Oh right, mother, this time I bought a lot of ink and paper to bring back with me for Xiao Ji. Yang Lulu said as she pointed to the paper. Great, that's really terrific. Madame Yang said happily. Seeing that her daughter still thought of her family while she was outside made her very pleased. And looking at all the things that she had bought, she Madame Yang already knew they were for all them. When Yang Yi and his family found out that Yang Lulu had returned, they were very happy, Lulu you're back at last. You can't imagine the horrible things that were said while you were away. Other people all said that you had been sold by Yao Yao to a place outside. Yang Lulu now understood. No wonder the village people had asked her all those questions before a, eh? it was all because of that. She laughed coldly, tomorrow I'll go look for Yao Yao. Once they see what a great relationship I have with her, let's see what they have to say about that. A, eh, isn't it just? Madame Chiao nodded her head on the side. Although she admired Yang Lulu for being able to go out, she wasn't jealous. She knew that their whole family would benefit by her younger sister doing well. Seeing the many things she had brought back for their child, if it were them making the purchase, it would have taken no little sum of money. Sister Dotin Dot Law should not be begrudged from letting Xiao Ji practice his writing on the ink and paper. Yang Lulu said seriously. Rest assured, your sister dot in dot law understands. When talking about her son, Madame Chiao's smile grew much brighter. Because of the strong foundation Ning Meng Yao helped him develop, once he went to school, he had an easy time coping with his studies. The teacher also commented he was clever. This made them start to have some expectations. On the second day, after finishing breakfast, Yang Lulu got the things she had bought by herself and went to Ning Meng Yao's house. When Yang Lulu arrived, Ning Meng Yao was discussing something with Xiao Tian Chang. Her arrival did not catch the attention of the two who were talking. Hey, would you guys at least acknowledge me? Yang Lulu said plaintively. After waiting for more than an hour and seeing that the two people still hadn't finished talking, An Lulu finally couldn't stand it any longer. A dot the sudden sound severely startled Ning Meng Yao. Xiao Tian Chang, who was opposite her, turned unhappily and looked at her coldly. A that icy dot cold gaze caused Yang Lulu to shrink her neck in fear, I didn't do it on purpose. 
You're back. How was your time there? Yang Lula smiled happily, it was so great I didn't want to come back. If you like it then that's good enough. Ning Mengyao nodded her head. She didn't ask for more details. Just by seeing Yang Luli's excited appearance, she knew it hadn't been too bad. Yang Lulu nodded her head and then looked at them dubiously, let's not talk about me first. Yao Yao, don't you think you should tell me what's going on between you two? Before she left, the relationship between those two wasn't super close. How was it that after not seeing them for only 20 days, the relationship between those two seemed so comfortable now? Ning Mengyao glanced at Yang Lulu but didn't respond. Xiao Tian Chang shot a warning look at Yang Lulu which triggered a scowl from her. After staying for a while at Ning Mengyao's house she finally went back. Her plans were to spend some quality time together with her parents, bring gifts to Ning Mengyao, as well as take care of quite a few other things. All she had done made its way around the village and everyone finally knew that the rumor they were gossiping about was false. Chapter 99 Rumors You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper the things in the village, Ning Mengyao had no plan of caring about it. The people who believed in her would not need her explaining while the people who did not trust her, anything she said would be useless. Having such time, it was better to discuss with Xiao Tian Chang the things they were going to do. A few days ago, Xiao Qi Tian sent some people to bring apricot flowers over to her, saying that he would continue sending more later. At the same time, he also let people ask her when would the apricot wine be ready for consumption. Toward this, Ning Mengyao thought that she really had many things to do. Aside from Xiao Qi Tian's side, Xiao Tian Chang's side also produced many apricot flowers from who knew where. Seeing the humongous pile of apricot flowers coming into the workshop before it was closed off, Ning Meng Yao could mentally see the huge amount of money flying her way. When all the things were ready, Ning Meng Yao started to give instructions to the people to make the apricot wine. Of course, the most important parts were done by Qing Shui and the others, the villagers could not interfere. During this time, the rumors became even more heated. They said that Yang Lulu received benefit from Ning Meng Yao so she naturally helped Ning Meng Yao, when the truth was that Yang Lulu became a concubine to a big family. Ning Meng Yao did not know this rumor since she was very busy. But even if she did not know, it did not mean that Yang Lulu did not know. This was a rumor related to her reputation after all. So one by one, people came to ask her then found out that it was the rumor spread by Yang Xiao Er's mother, Madame Luo. Madame Luo spread it, meaning that this had something to do with Yang Xiao Er too. Yang Lulu walked into Yang Xiao Er's house and coldly looked at Yang Xiao Er who seemed to have changed somewhat. Her gaze was cold as she said, Yang Xiao Er, what are you trying to do? I don't know what you're talking about. Yang Xiao Er's eyes flashed briefly and lowered her head while answering Yang Lulu. Heaven knew at the moment she saw how much Yang Lulu changed, the jealousy in her heart was great. Before, Yang Lulu was just an ordinary village girl. Now, if someone said that Yang Lulu was the daughter of a rich man, then there would be people who believed. Based on what? Based on what the things she, Yang Xiao Er, could not have, Yang Lulu have. Yang Xiao Er, you really would not cry if you don't see the coffin. Do you dare say that the rumor circulating was not spread by you? Yang Lulu coldly smiled. Yang Xiao Er finally raised her head to meet Yang Luli's, her eyes carried indifference. So what if it is? So what if it isn't? What can you do? There is indeed nothing I could do. I only want to remind you that this kind of thing should be done little, so you don't get enmeshed in your own web of spinning. Yao Yao had no time to care for her, so she really thought that Yao Yao was scared of her. She really was ridiculous. Someone who used to feel inferior every time they met, based on what did she interrogate her with high foot and high air. Seeing Yang Lulu like that, Yang Xiao Er wanted to ruin her temptress face. Yang Lulu, who do you think you are? Do you really think that climbing to Ning Meng Yao makes you great? 
sooner or later, those rumors would be your end. Yang Xiu Er saw Yang Lulu leaving and suddenly opened her mouth. Yang Luli's footsteps halted. She turned her head to stare at Yang Xiu Er's distorted face. That is my own thing, it has nothing to do with you. And shall I remind you that when you want to do something, remember what happened to your mother. After saying this, she did not care what kind of expression was on Yang Xiu Er and Madame Luo's face as she turned to leave. Coming out from Yang Xiu Er's house, Yang Lu Li's face slowly turned dark. But she was now sure that the reason Yang Xiu Er spread those rumors was because of her. From Yang Xiu Er's eyes, she could see jealousy, hate, and another emotion that she could not make out. She thought that maybe it was because Yao Yao sent her to the outside that made Yang Xiu Er's heart unsettled. Even without asking Ning Meng Yao, Yang Lu Li's guess was not far off. Yang Lulu then went back home a while before going to where Ning Meng Yao was. Right now, there was nobody at home. Yang Ji had gone to the private school while the rest had gone to Ning Meng Yao to work. A day's work could earn not little money. Yao Yao, did Yang Xiu Er came for you before? When Yang Lulu found Ning Meng Yao, she did not beat around the bust and asked straightforwardly. Chapter 100 Unconvinced you are listening at NovelFull.audio Translator Vesper Ning Meng Yao was a little stunned at first and then nodded her head as she looked at Yang Lulu, yes, a few days ago she did approach me to send her outside as well, but I didn't agree to it. When Yang Lulu heard that it really was all because of that, her expression darkened, are you planning to let Yang Xiu air off like this? For now, yes, I have a lot of things to take care of, so I don't have time to deal with her right now. Ning Meng Yao frowned and said. So long as Yang Xiu Er didn't come to make trouble for her again, she would do the same for Yang Xiu Er. Only, apparently that girl didn't think that way. You'll have to be a little more careful. Yang Xiu Er isn't the same anymore. Yang Lulu thought about it for a while before coming to this conclusion. And, I got it. Ning Meng Yao naturally knew that Yang Xiu Er had changed. No, not changed, but her heart had become greedier. She was deluded into thinking she could get things that didn't belong to her, just as before. When Ning Meng Yao first arrived, the things Yang Xiu Er did weren't too extreme, so she didn't bother herself about it. But as a result, Yang Xiu Er and her mother had become bolder now. As long as you know, that's fine. What do you want to do? Do you need my help? Yang Lula didn't keep on asking as she watched Ning Meng Yao mumble to herself as she continued to write things down. Ning Meng Yao's hand paused for a moment and she looked up, do you know how to calculate finances? This type of thing I can't don't know how to, but I can definitely learn. I want to help you. From the time Ning Meng Yao saved her brother's life, she vowed that no matter what Ning Meng Yao needed, she definitely would help her A even if it cost her life to do so. All right, when you go back, I'll have someone teach you how to do so. Ning Meng Yao directly said after thinking it over. Great. Ten days went by quickly and it was time for Yang Lulu to leave. On the day she was set to leave, Madam Yang was reluctant to see her go, make sure to take good care of yourself. Mom, rest assured, I will. Mom, Dad, whatever you guys want to eat, just go ahead and buy it. There's no need to be thrifty, okay? Brother, take good care of Mom and Dad. Yang Lulu was also reluctant to leave, however, she'd be able to come back again soon so it wasn't unbearable. Don't worry, I'll be here with Mom and Dad. You don't have to worry. Yang Lulu nodded her head and got into the carriage. The carriage was about to leave, but at this time a person suddenly burst forth. Before the crowd could react, she climbed into the carriage and held on for dear life saying that no matter what she wouldn't get off. Seeing the way that Yang Xiu Er was acting, Yang Lulu laughed mockingly at her. This was exactly like Yao Yao had said, Yang Xiu Er would for sure try to follow her. What do you think you're doing, Yang Xiu Er? Yang Lulu said angrily. What am I doing? 
why is it that that be asterisk tch is so good to you yet treats me like this? I want to go with you. Yang Xiu Er said ruthlessly. No matter what she definitely had to leave together with Yang Lulu. She had to see where Ning Meng Yao had arranged for Yang Lulu so that she could figure out how Yang Lulu was able to change in such a short period of time. Yang Lulu laughed at Yang Xiu Er, who looked like a scoundrel, I must say, Yang Xiu Er, are you some kind of thug? You said that Yao Yao is a b asterisk tch and that she treated you wrongly. I want to ask, how exactly did Yao Yao treat you? You on the other hand, with your insatiable greed, are always causing trouble for Yao Yao. Have you already forgotten the trouble your mom stirred up when she went to her house? The words that Yang Lula said was a direct hit to Yang Xiu Er's sore spot, and she waited to see just what Yang Xiu Er would do about it. Sure enough, Yang Xiu Er's eyes were filled with alarm and she snapped angrily, I've helped her so many times, how could she be so ungrateful? Just when Yang Lulu was about to respond, she heard Ning Meng Yao's cold voice, you said you helped me out a lot, may I ask just what did you help me with? Ning Meng Yao's voice caused Yang Xiu Er to subconsciously shrunk back in fear. She lowered her head and became silent. Yang Xiu Er you said that Yao Yao owes you. In that case, here in front of all these people, let's talk about it. Let's see who it is that owes the other more. Yang Lulu said directly. An alarmed and bewildered expression finally appeared on Yang Xiu Er's face. She started to stammer out a response only to realize she really hadn't done anything to help Ning Meng Yao before.